This is Jeremiah 30 and 6. Ask ye now and see whether a man doth travail with child. Wherefore do I, do I see every man with his hands on his loins as a woman in travail, and all faces are turned into paleness. Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises, honor, glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rakah Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutation to you, Akim, pushing his word with true sincerity, with charity. <laughs> Presenting your bodies as a living sacrifice. <clears throat> we who are ready to live salute you. All right. So I just want to go into this lesson. All right. I'm going to call it uh, JT time. All right. <laughs> and I'm not talking about Justin Timberlake, man. All right. Because this is the time of Jacob's trouble we're talking about. You know, but even within that, you know, even though it's called Jacob's trouble, everybody's going to suffer, man. All right. This this is going to touch everybody, man. This is going to be everybody's trouble. The focus is just on Jacob because that's who Yahweh Shemi Shai is delivering. All right. And not just any Israelite, the Israel of God. OK, which are the elect. All right. Everybody else is going to be pretty much down here in this mess, you know. Because as the scripture says, they trouble shall be multiplied that uh, hasten after another God. Two thirds of our people have set up idols in their hearts and they're going after that. They're trusting in Egypt. So basically um, what the Lord is going to do is he's going to basically destroy him. You know, he's going to leave. As another scripture says, I'm going to leave you there and melt you, man. All right. <laughs> You know, so this is the time we're coming into. So as the scripture says, matter of fact, let me grab it. This is Second Peter 3 and 11. Seeing then that, matter of fact, let me read up one. This is Second Peter 3 and 10. But the day of Yahweh will come as a thief in the night in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise. Right, that's why we're commanded to watch. That's why we're commanded to stay on our watch. All right, because as the scripture says, you know not you know not what hour Yahweh Bashimi Al Shah will come upon you, man. All right. The, the Lord is not he doesn't need to announce that he's coming or or when when this is gonna happen or when is that when is that gonna happen, all right? We've been awakened up to this truth, all right? We've been given the vision, all right? And as the scripture says, no man knoweth the day nor the hour. So therefore, we're commanded to watch. We're commanded to stay on our watch, man. But the day of Yahweh will come as a thief in the night, and the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up. So, hey, man, this place is about to be destroyed, man. There's no fancy way to put that. There's no, you know, there's no other way to put that, man. That's what's about to happen, right? Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, right? What manner of persons ought ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness, right? What manner of persons are you to be? You know, how should you be conducting yourself? All right. <laughs> Knowing that all this destruction is about to come. <laughs> Knowing that Yahweh Bashimi Shah's indignation is upon this world and two thirds of our people, you know, the heathen and two thirds of our people, man. How should we be, we be conducting ourselves, man? All right. Also, we're commanded to warn. All right. We're commanded to warn our people, man. You know, <laughs> give them warning for me, as the scripture says, man, because that's how we get the blood of off our hands, man. You know, like Paul said, I am free from the blood of all men because I have not shunned to declare unto you the whole counsel of Yahweh by Shemir All right. So we're not we're not uh, to leave anything out, man. All right. We have to declare 
unto you the whole counsel of Yahweh by Shemiah Shai. As the scripture says, give them warning from me. All right. We're the watchmen. We're the ones that's been set up on the walls to watch out for this uh for this destruction. All right. Because it's coming, man. And you know, as the scripture says, the plagues are sent. Matter of fact, let me get that. It's 2nd Ezra 16 and 14. Behold, the plagues are sent and shall not return again until they come upon the earth. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, man, the plagues are, 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 are about to be where well, they're already incrementally coming in. All right. But there's going to be a point where the Lord is just going to open up the floodgates, man. The floodgates of destruction, man. Those four sword judgments, man. Famine, sword, teeth of wild beasts, man. We already see the love, the, the love of many uh, waxing cold, man. You know, there's no love in these streets. There's no solidarity, man. All right. The only place where you're going to find love, and the only people who even know how to love are the brothers, at the, uh, uh, are those that are in the truth, man. To have this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, man. We understand the loving is is uh, love is the keep of keeping other of the commandments, man. Uh, keeping other laws, right? Which of course we do to the best of our ability, right? We understand that outside of this circle, what it says in the Book of Revelation: for without our dogs, whoremongers, sorcerers, and they that love and make a lie. All right. And we don't want to find ourselves on the outs in these last days because that's exactly what two thirds of our people are going to find themselves, man. On the out where there is weeping and gnashing of teeth, you know, where, where there is no mercy, man. There's not going to be any reprieve, any respite given, you know. When these plagues are sent, that's just going to be it. That's going to be all, man. All right. And, and the Lord is just going to increase your sorrows. Why? Because you are hasting after another God, man. Your sorrows shall be multiplied that hasteth after another God, man. All right. So now it's our time. Now it's time to turn to the Lord while he may be found, man. As the scripture says, call upon him while he's near. Which implies what? That there are times going to come when the Lord is going to turn away his face, man. All right, and you're going to feel it, man. You're going to feel the presence, the mercy of the Lord being withdrawn from you, man. All right, you're going to feel that being taken away from you, that hedge. All right. Okay. And there's not going to be no way for you to get back into those graces, man. Because you have something that's called judgment day, man. You have something that, that's called too late, all right. And we're coming into the time of too late. So those that have not prepared themselves, those who have not put themselves in a position to be delivered, well, you're going to find yourself outside of that sanctuary, outside of that hedge, man. You know. <laughs> All right. That's why the scripture says, gather yourself together, O nation, not desire. Before the decree bring forth, man. Before the day pass as the chaff, as the scripture says, man. Before the fierce anger of the Lord come upon you, man. And we're, we're coming into that time, man. So as the scripture says, man, it's high time to wake out of sleep, man. You know. And, and you can lead a horse to the water, but we can't make him drink to the end of the day. We're just trying to save our own ass, man. You know, of course, Paul, like Paul said, well, I endure all things for the elect's sake. But we understand that those who are meant to hear are going to meant to hear, and those who are not meant to hear are not gonna uh, are not gonna hear, man. All right. And uh, just as the scripture says, matter of fact, let me get it. Yeah, this is uh, Sirach forty and ten. Such things happen unto all flesh, both man and beast, and that is sevenfold upon sinners. Death and bloodshed, strife and sword, calamities, famine, tribulation, 
and the scourge, right? And as the scripture says, such as for the sword to the sword, such as for death to death, such as for the captivity to the captivity, man. All right. These things, these things are created for the wicked and for their sakes came the flood, right? And just like the uh, Christians have a, a song uh, says no more water, but fire this time. All right. That flood, it, hey, the, uh, the first death was water. The second death is going to be fire. All right. And that's how this place is going out, man. And these people are on a full speed trajectory to perdition and destruction, man. All right. So it would behoove us to, hey, do what we can every day to repent and, and get in the good graces of your heart by Shemel Shot, man. Because we don't want to be caught in this destruction, man. So, yeah, just a little lesson I wanted to do. Um, yeah, because JT time is coming, man, you know. But, yeah, that's pretty much what I got. Um, hope this lesson was edifying and shalom.